Oh no, my workflow is broken. I was just about to make a new workflow video and I discovered my processes haven't been running for almost a week. So what the heck happened? I dug into it and I found some documentation on Make. Apparently they have changed the API with OpenAI. I didn't find any real specific documentation on how to set that up. So I spent a little while tinkering until I finally got it to work and I wanted to show you how to get your workflows back in action if you don't already know. What you are going to want to do, OpenAI has changed the way they handle their text completions through the API. They are no longer using prompt completion. So what's really happening to cause this error, it evokes prompt completion and then the model that it's looking for just isn't there anymore. If you check out the error message, text DaVinci 3 has been deprecated, but then you can't select any new models. When you go to create a chat completion, you're able to select the new models. So you can select right here. I'm using GPT 3.5 Turbo, but feel free to test anything else if you want. It's handling this just a little bit differently. So as soon as you select that, you might scroll down and notice, well, where's the field where I wanna enter my actual prompt? And so here, what you're gonna wanna do, where it says messages, you'll notice if you try to close this, it'll tell you the field must not be empty. So it's waiting for something here. And I just kinda poked around until I got this right. I click add item, I went to roll, and I selected system. First I selected the others and it didn't really work. And then this is where I copied the prompt from what I had before. So I'm gonna switch back real quick to create a prompt completion and it still contains my prompt. I'm gonna copy that, switch back over to chat completion and under role system, I'm going to paste message content. And this was just kind of a shot in the dark, but it did return a value that I could use, although it put it in a little bit different place. So let me close out of that, copy. Then I wanna open up this one, which is my description, and I'm going to copy paste first. So copy paste what I've got there. Then I'm going to go to chat completion, do the same thing that I just did, 3.5 turbo. Then I have to add message, role, system, and I'm gonna copy paste the prompt that I had before. Everything else should be good. And now I'm going to click OK. Those will now return new values. And what's going to happen is at first, this is gonna error out because we have to choose the returned values. And right now it's referencing the way the older modules worked. I can't grab those now, so let me show you. I'm gonna run this workflow, let it go all the way through and fail at the Printify modules. And then we're gonna get our returned values. I had to poke around in the results to figure out where those were. So I wanna show you how you do that. Might help you troubleshoot modules in the future. Let's run. All right, there we go. So it failed on my Printify module and what it's telling me, missing value. It couldn't get the value for the image name. So let's see the, the results it returned. We go to output bundle choices, one message, and you have under message, that's the little name it generated. And so what that's gonna look like when we want to reference that, we will delete what is there because the, the error message we're getting right here, it's not able to grab the file name and we are going to find choices, message, there it is, where it says Vandermeer, messages, content, that replaces that, and now it will create the file name based on the output we just generated that landed in a slightly different place. And the next step to getting this working again, if I run the workflow right now, it's gonna fail again, and the last step is to make changes in my create a product module. And I can do that now without having to run the process again. I'm going to simply select under the title, choices, message. So that'll put the name right there, dash AOP kangaroo pouch hoodie. And then in my description, I'm going to go to delete what I got there. And let's do the full description. Again, under choices, message, and content. Let's make sure everything else looks good. It should. Yep, I haven't really done anything different to the way it handles images. So I'm going to save this. Uh, it's telling me modules. If you ever get that message, it really just wants you to open up a module and click OK. So I'm going to do that over here. That little black icon on the corner was indicating it had unsaved changes. Save. Now I don't get that little error message. And let's run this process again. There we go, it was successful. So let's take a look at what it put in my Printify account. And there we go, Russo, AOP Kangaroo Pouch Hoodie.
When I ran this process again, it regenerated everything, if you're wondering why it's not Vandermeer. I still have to go in and kind of curate these because it, it generates all one paragraph. I have a feeling I could fix that maybe with HTML or something like that. That's it. That fixed the workflow. If you're still having trouble, feel free to reach out in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out. Don't forget to hit the likey button if you likey. Smash the subscribey if you want a scribey. Thanky, thanky.